Lizanne Saunders is the chief investment strategist at Charles Schwab. She joins us now as we count you down with just about eight and a half minutes until those closing bells. Where is sentiment right now, Lizanne? Because I, I'm not sure if it's good, bad, or just non-existent. Uh, I, I would say it's a bit mixed. So I think of, of sentiment indicators, particularly investor sentiment indicators, leaving the consumer uh, aside, as falling in one of two bucket buckets. There's attitudinal measures of sentiment, so things like AAII, which is just survey-based, or investors' intelligence. Um, and then you have behavioral measures of sentiment, whether it's fund flows or the put-call ratio and other metrics. So I, if you look at the collection of them, the attitudinal measures, which had been swinging pretty wildly with every up and down in the market are kind of stuck in a pretty optimistic zone, which is surprising to me. I would have thought you'd ease some of that complacency, some of that froth, given the some of the weakness that we've seen in the market since the mid-July low, but that's not the case. That said, we have seen fund flows kick back into the, the negative side of the ledger, at least in some categories. A couple weeks ago, you had big outflows out of U.S. large caps. Last week, it was big outflows out of consumer cyclical kind of areas. So on the behavioral side, a little bit of concern creeping in, but it's certainly not universal. When you look at sort of the potential for where this market goes, there's been a lot of talk of, yes, uh, we are going to maybe see a pullback here, but you have strategists over at Goldman and a few other places saying, look, we're not going into a bear market. This is just kind of a, a healthy reevaluation of valuations, if you will. Well, keep in mind that under the surface, we've had a bear market, so uh, or close to it in the case of the S&P. So the S&P, mm. on a year-to-date basis at the index level, has had an 8% maximum drawdown. So that didn't hit correction territory, but that's at the index level. The average member maximum drawdown is negative 19%. Now, for the NASDAQ, it's even more extreme. So the NASDAQ at the index level has had a correction, a 13% maximum drawdown. But the average member maximum drawdown down in the NASDAQ is negative 44 percent. That's a heck of a lot of weakness and churn and rotation and turmoil under the surface. Um, it just got, got masked and has been masked by the dominance of the mega caps in these cap-weighted indexes. So there has been a lot more going on and more to the story that's told under the surface of the indexes, and that's where you've seen some of this weakness. 